two ways of reacting to that. There's a good way which says, well, in the light of this information, this new information or this experience I'm having now, clearly my view that I've held up to this point doesn't stand up anymore, so I'm going to change my view and, 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 and perception and, 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 and I'm going to have moved on. I'm going to become bigger than I was before. What the vast majority of people do, uh, they look at this new information and they, you know, it might challenge their religion, it might challenge their political view, it might challenge whatever. And they say, I don't accept that. This belief system, this perception, that's immovable. So somehow I have to explain that away. And they, 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 they lie to themselves. They say that, uh, actually, pepper bombing Baghdad and slaughtering and maiming millions plus of, uh, 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 civilians, that is the only way of bringing peace to the world, right? That's cognitive dissonance. That's lying to yourself. It's a form of what uh, George Orwell called double think, which is the ability to hold two contradiction, contradicting views and believe at the same time that both are true. So we need to break that self-dishonesty and face it. It is what it is. And if we don't face it and accept what the situation is, how are we going to deal with it? We're not. So if people say, well, I'm frightened, well, okay, I'll get you a book to send, take it home, and hey, you won't, you won't hear the knock on the door, will you? Because you'll have your head in the bucket of sand, so they'll have to knock the door down. But you'll, you'll find out in the end, because you can keep running away mentally, metaphorically, and literally. But eventually, you reach a point where you, there's nowhere to run. And this whole surveillance system that is just entering now the fine detail of our lives is a system designed not least through satellite technology, microchip technology, all the rest of it, to give people anywhere on planet Earth nowhere to run. Okay? So, great way of dealing with that. Stop fricking running. Turn round in vast numbers and let's face this. Deal with it and then let's get on with our lives and have a nice time from here on in. Because it ain't going to be a nice time unless we face it now. Okay, sir, any question you've been waiting for years to answer? I've answered most of them really over the years and, and, and a lot of them have been my own because you know it's it's not a case of me uh, sitting cross-legged on a mountain like the bloody Buddha saying I've got all the answers ask me I know I'm the all-knowing one um, there's lots of questions I still have that I'm that, that I'm, 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 I'm pursuing um, it's like Socrates was supposed to have said the Greek philosopher wisdom is knowing how little you know how little we know it to be the exact quote it's supposed to have said and when you realize that, your mind is constantly open. Not that you believe anything, oh no, but it's constantly open to new possibility. And when you do that, you, you keep moving forward or deeper in the rabbit hole, whichever analogy you want to use, and you start to see the bigger and bigger picture. And, you know, the difference, the major difference between the mass of humanity and this control system and those running this control system at, at the core is knowledge. They have, pass on through the absolute top level of the secret society network, this global web, highly advanced knowledge from generation to generation of this conspiracy about the nature of reality and how it works. Now, if you want to control humanity and you know that what humanity is doing to create its apparent reality is to decode vibrational information into electrical information into a holographic illusion in their head. And the, you keep that from people and you program them en masse to believe that this is all real and solid and it's not an illusion at all, then you are suddenly, even though there's a few of you, in a fantastic position of power over those mass of the people. Um, and so understanding the, 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 the true nature of who we are is to break that process of the few having the awareness of reality that we're experiencing and the masses having no clue what the real uh, nature of reality is. And, and, and that alone uh, takes power away all the time as people awaken to that understanding from the power structure, and um, it's, uh, it's its worst nightmare that that will happen, which is why it spent um, thousands of years 
using religions and fake science to keep this understanding from us. You know, it's a great time to be alive. I mean, it's always, it, 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 I'd say it's a great time to be alive. We're always alive because we're infinite consciousness. It's a great time to be alive and experiencing this reality. Because, you know, unless there's someone on another dimension pushing consciousness into human bodies and saying, get in there and bloody like it, we are in this reality at this moment because that's what we chose to do. So why did we choose to come now when all this was going on? Why did we say, well, I ain't going there? And you see what's going to happen? No, no. We came now because of what's happening now. So, let's do what we came to do, which is to break this control structure and return the prison uh, world to the paradise world that it once was before these guys intervened. Let's go. What is there to be frightened of? You know, oh, uh, uh, if, what if you die? What is death? What is death? It's, it's, it's just withdrawing from the lens and going back to a, a full awareness of the, the infinite consciousness that we are. This is what's happening when people have near-death experiences. When people leave the, 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 the body, when, when they physically, physically, physically die, and then come back again, the state of consciousness those people were in, between leaving the body and returning to it, symbolically anyway, was vastly, incredibly expanded compared with what they were in the body. Right? So, um, the worst that can happen is you go from limitation to expanded consciousness. Oh, bloody hell, I'm terrified. Oh, what if they assassinate me? What if I assassinate you? What a nightmare. I'm going to go from limitation to expanded awareness. Oh, God, I'm terrified. There's nothing to be frightened of. Nothing to be frightened of. We live forever. We are forever. Let's deal with this and get, it, get rid of it. And this nonsense. Get, get, bring an end to it and stop pussyfooting around and being, you know, herded uh, uh, and, and, uh, and uh, manipulated and all the rest of it. Let's bring an end to it, end to the nonsense, let's get on with our lives. But this has got to go first if we want our life worth living.